Rebecca Gordon. Gordon. Welcome to this week's weekly Wednesday wrap up. In this week's edition, we're going to go over. CMS is getting rid of, well, not CMS, the administration is getting rid of rebates in Part D and how that will impact your Part D clients. We're going to talk about CVS's new health hubs and how they're revolutionizing healthcare, as and well as a bunch more stuff. Yeah, all kinds of amazing stuff. Stay tuned. It's amazing. Boom. do a quick shout out to all of you. How many of you still wrap presents? I am a present wrapper. I am not oh, hell a no. bag giver. I'm a bag giver. They're easy. I get it. And you can, but there is something I about love, wrapping a I present. To, uh, okay. So we want you to tell us if you've done any HRAs, you've done the health risk assessment with, I think Centene Allwell is the only one that has one up available right now. A $50 administration and if you did one fee. and you got that $50 administration fee, tell us anything in the comments. How Was it cumbersome? Was it easy? Did you like it? Did your clients get confused? And we will send you Sanders Fine Chocolates, Dark Chocolate Sea Salt Carols, and Rebecca will wrap this in the gold paper. Oh, I'll wrap it for you. Unlike I it. do like Unlike to wrap. Like I like it. to receive wrapped gifts. Okay. Also, if you just tell us in the comments why you watch this video, you can win this assortment of fingernail polishes. Oh, and while so I was nice. gendered and sex stereotyping, assuming that this would go to a woman agent, I have been corrected. This could go to a man to gift to the woman in his life or, or anybody that likes to play with fingernail polish. Yeah. And these are OPI, which are expensive fingernail polishes. Nice. Oh, this so is pretty. So anybody, win these. Talk to us in the comments about why you watch our wrap-up, what you would like to see additional in the wrap-up. If you like it, if you don't like it, is it too long? Is it too short? Do you want her to sing more? Because if you've noticed, she hasn't sung in the last two. Okay. I, I need to feel, feel the music. that they want it. I need to, need feel, to feel that you want Give it. Give her the love. Let's talk about CVS. So CVS is awesome. the nation's third largest provider now of Medicare supplements. One being AARP, United Healthcare. Two being Mutual Omaha. And now they are third with the acquisition of Aetna. Good job, CVS. Good job, CVS. Nice acquisition. Nice acquisition. Now, CVS has the brick and mortar. Yep. They're going to convert 1,500 of their stores to a health hub. What is a health hub? So what it sounds what, like, what, what they're going right? to do, it sounds like they're trying to create an environment that is health-related where seniors are going to come in maybe for a yoga class. And not just seniors. Not just seniors. Anybody, but they want to. We want it to be about health. So Coming we're in. We're th thinking outside the box. So what they were thinking minute clinics, and then they're thinking yeah. wellness programs. They said maybe even yoga, but it's. I could say like maybe health. weigh ins. Like maybe you have a weigh in coach and classes. People come in for that or they, smoking sensation. They already signed up for Smile Direct for the. No, I for my the, no the smile because I have these Invisaligners. So that's like the that, Smile that, Direct Club, teeth white, teeth straightening you're, clubs. You're coming in for that. So right. so what they're doing is they're taking 20% of the total floor space that right now is in retail. So like they're taking things that are low sellers, like greeting cards, and they're going to convert that space to health and wellness. So I would think this would be an opportunity for agents. Oh, for sure. Right? A year-round opportunity, even though we don't know how this is fleshed out yet. This is big news for that's us. That's cool. That's very cool. I like it. Me like it. Me like it. I want to give it up a little bit and talk about the UH1, um, United Healthcare One, part of United Healthcare, on the under 65, their health protector guard. So I sat in a meeting today, again reviewing ACA premiums, and people trying to figure out how to work around that. To me, ACA has just it's it's just ruined it's ruined the market. People have a mindset I can't afford it, which they can't. Uh, I really think, regardless of your subsidy. So I'm not really looking for those plans anymore, but great options is this UH1 plan, the Health Protector Guard. So if you are still in that market, hit me up in the comments. We're gonna be rolling out a series of training classes again. Um, the thing I love most about this plan is it's attached to a network so you get all the repricing. It's backed by United Healthcare, the largest insurer in the universe, I believe. Of the world. Of the world. Uh, and health it's rock solid. Large, health insurance in the world. It, Allianz, I think, is the biggest insurance it's, company. It's, in the it's solid. So hit me up in those comments. So all the men, to shout out to our dad, brothers, brother-in-laws, sons. <gasps> oh. They are all in Canada fishing right now. We have a fishing trip every year to get, I was going to say Great White. but to it's get them gone. It's northern 
Great White. Northern Pike and Walleye. Walleye. To catch sharks. Great White Sharks. And is if what you are hunting. a fisherman and you would like to win this trip, hit us up in the comments because we take agents on this trip and you can be up there right now with all the men in our family. And no, there are no women up there right now. I want to talk about rebates. I don't want Part to. Part D. This is my pill. My pill. So rebates has been one of the scams between the PBMs and the drug companies, and it, it's it's not ever trickled down to the consumer. And so that's something that President Trump said, "Hey, this is not fair. If right. There's going to be discounts. The, it should be in the end consumer's pocket." So the administration proposed in January to get rid of e rebates, ebates, to make them illegal. And so they are once they're in the process, one step from being approved to, for this being finalized right now. And as you can imagine, when the government does get involved, not always the most beautiful outcome. So what they are forecasting as that getting rid of the rebates will actually result in an increase of premiums to the end consumer of 8 to 22 percent. So that's from <laughs> Nehu. That's, that's not the, how it was the, supposed to work. Yeah. That's not how the it was. The 8 to 22 percent if the rule is implemented as planned. So that's how it is when you have the private market and the government going back and forth and back and forth. So this will, this is not over. The, the administration's goal is to actually lower the the price yeah. of drugs, and that is one of his main goals that he wants to get done before he sits for re-election. So expect to see it, but it's not. This is the first step is not going to result in lower premiums. That's a clock. Hey, we uh, we have Great Western, which is a really cool uh, guaranteed issue, simplified issue, final expense with Medico. Medico bought them in 2018. Oh. We love Medico. They do. Fine, medical. fine job. But the really cool thing about their their uh, Great Western. niche, niche. I hate that word. No, no. It just sounds dumb. Niche. Their area of expertise. Their area. The thing that makes them shine is if your client, you take out a guaranteed issue final expense. They call you. They call all of them. And if they can answer three simple health questions, they automatically increase their death benefit by twenty five percent. Premium stays the same, but you get more. I think that's super cool. Oh yeah. And now, is it a separate super contract, cool. or is it already in the medical platform? It is platform? a separate contract. So you got to call us and ask for the contract if you're already contracted to sell Medicos MedSup, which is the number one seller in the Houston market. Mm, dental, vision, and hearing, hospital indemnity, hospital short term. Yeah. Call us to get the Great Western contract added on for this guaranteed issue, simplified issue, final expense it's, plan, and we are running some kind of special. We thing have a great win, Cabo. It's secret, but we're running it, so do it. It's not. It's New Orleans. New Orleans. That's, that's how deep a secret is. It's, I don't even know. It's right. If you want to win New Orleans in January, hit me. With start. Comments. Start talking to your clients about final expense. What What a lot of agents don't realize in the senior market is they don't want to mess with life because they're just specialists in, in senior health. But most people that had their life insurance through their employer when they retired, they lost it. Right. And so a lot of agents go, well, you don't need it. Your house is paid off. That's not true. Many times that's not true. And people want the life insurance just to bury them for right. their final expenses so they're not leaving that as a burden to someone. Or they have another need that they want it for. So don't just assume you know that your clients have it mm -hmm. or don't want it. Just bring it up. It's Bring just like, it when, like two weeks ago when it's you easy. had Mike Jones talking about veterans and he said just we want every single person to ask, are you a veteran? Just is it, Are you a veteran? Four words. Ten seconds yeah. additional to every program, every presentation, are you a veteran? Yeah. Do you have life insurance? How are you taking care of your final expenses? How are you getting buried? Boom. Okay, just Jake. because I love to throw the money, I'm going to throw it, but I don't have anything that it actually relates to right now. Do you have anything that's... We have so many med sub bonuses going on. If you're from the great state of Arizona, Amerigroup out there has an unlimited hundred dollar med sub bonus. Yeah. Unlimited. A lot of our, our bonuses, you know, are like per month. So they changed their comp to make a flat rate plus with a hundred bucks unlimited, unlimited through October. Fabulous. Plus they have the best rates. So I want to talk a little bit about Blue Cross because agents don't understand that they'll say, do you have Blue Cross? And it's, it's like super confusing. You can't say that. There's like 125 different versions of Blue Cross, Blue Cross, Blue Shield, Blue Cross. So like uh, the Shield. answer is yes and no. So we work with Anthem Blue Cross, which is the nation's biggest. But why are they called Amerigroup in Texas? Because the Blue Cross name is already taken. So, so they have to use a different name. Because HCSC, which is Blue Cross of Illinois, Texas, 
Oklahoma and New Mexico, it was already there. So if Anthem Blue Cross wanted to be there, they had to be somebody different. They had to be a different name, which is... So they're Amerigroup. Amerigroup. So how many states is Amerigroup in? Four. Okay, and so that this is confusing to agents. So they'll say, do you have Blue Cross in California? Somebody asked me this morning. So I go, there is a Blue up. Cross, but there's Anthem. Anthem, but one's Blue Shield. One is Blue Shield. And one is Blue Cross. Yeah. There's two separate companies. We have, we have one. Which we, one's the which? We have Blue Shield. I have to look. Okay, if you know the answer and you put it in the comments, we will send you uh, a gift certificate because I don't know the answer either because I, I can't keep this straight. Many. It's too so many. So let's talk about New York. New York has... Is under a name of Empire. Empire which is Anthem. Mm -hmm. So it's... But there's also Blue Cross and Blue Shield of New York. Is there? Yeah, oh, which is, is unrelated. So, like I, Rebecca said, there's over 125 different Blue Crosses. It's a it's a we trademark. Sh we should do a show just on keeping Blue Cross names. Right. So Correct. we have a contract. <laughs> that we have Blue Cross of Michigan. We have Blue Cross of South Carolina. Of South Carolina, and we have a lot of them, but we don't use all of them. We don't use all. Like of them. we don't have Blue Cross of Arizona. No, but we have Amerigroup. Which is under Anthem. In Arizona. So it's, it's you know, it's just part of this industry. There's a lot to learn. That's why we appreciate you guys tuning it has in. to be smart. We appreciate you taking the time to have a fascinating cup of joe with us. As we kind of unravel every week a lot of what's going on and then just how this industry works. This, this is a great show, not just for you that are your agents, but also for your staff. You know, uh -huh. tell them to watch it in the car on the way to work. It's just solid industry knowledge. It's just stuff. Acronyms. What's going on? Acronyms. 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 Anachronisms. It's a new word. Of what's going on in this industry. And if you're not constantly learning, you are falling behind. So. That's it. Namaste. I think that's all Thank we Thank you have. for watching. Namaste. A lot of carriers are opening up their uh, certifications. certifications. I know oh. Aetna MAPD is opening up on July the 10th. So, I mean, we, every week we keep hearing more It's more. time. It's time and get going, get started. Don't wait to the last minute and be part of the multitude of people that are Don't in a massive do stress attack. Don't do that. Attack. Be proactive. And then you're missing things and then the nightmare begins. So get ahead of it. Use your summer wisely. Go. Thanks for Team. watching, guys. Go. See ya.